From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome to BBN Tonight. I'm Anna Tarullo. And I'm Maggie Davis. Thanks for joining us. It's Kellen Grady night. We'll have another mic'd up segment and an interview with him. That's right. But it's summer, so it was just a matter of time before someone with no ties to Kentucky wrote a Coach Cal to the NBA article. And that's tonight's big blue story presented by Baptist Health. A Yahoo Sports NBA writer included Calipari in a list of names of 10 NBA coaching candidates to watch. Of course, Cal's name's in the headline of the article like it always is. Makes sense. Of course, Yahoo cites that multiple unnamed sources, as they always are, say <laughs> Calipari is open to returning to the NBA. So, of course, Calipari took to Twitter, writing, it's that time of the year. Why do rumors always start when we're in the middle of recruiting? I have the best job in the country with the best opportunity to impact young people and add value to their careers, and that hasn't changed. This season can't come fast enough. Let's go. Maggie, thoughts? This happens every, every summer. Year. We talk about this every mm -hmm. summer. I'm sorry we're having to talk about it today, but I'm glad we're not going to have to talk about it tomorrow. Good for Cal, putting right. that tweet out there right away. Get it done, mm -hmm. over with, let's move on. Mm -hmm. This is not a real story. That's right, we need to learn from the past yes. and ignore it. Yes, so in real life here in Lexington, Coach Cal is having some La Familia come spend time with the with the team, Nick's assistant Kenny Payne stopped by for a visit and Tyler Ulis is also in town for a while it seems like. He'll be rehabbing and working out right here in Lexington so he might be spending some valuable time with Kentucky's current point guards. Anna, if you're Ty Ty Washington or Xavier Wheeler, you cannot ask for a better mm -hmm. mentor to spend time with before the season gets started. He is one of the best to ever do it here. That's right, and I love that Jack Goose Givens compared uh, both of those point guards actually mm -hmm. to Tyler Ulis. So perfect to have him in town. Two cats from last year's basketball team have been invited to the NBA Combine. That's Isaiah Jackson and B.J. Boston. They'll head to Chicago from June 21st through the 27th. They'll participate in shooting, strength, and agility drills, plus interview with NBA teams and play a little bit of five-on-five. Five. Olivier Saar and Davion Mintz were not invited at this time. Saar is staying in the draft no matter what, but Davion Mintz is still weighing his options. The last day to withdraw from the draft and maintain collegiate eligibility is July 7th, and that's exactly three weeks away from today. And then the draft is on July 29th. And remember, the Combine is not the only option for these guys. The G League Elite Camp is June 19th through the 21st. That one is set up for players who were not originally invited to the Combine. And then the guys who get to stand out there can then be invited to the Combine. So plenty of opportunities. And listen, Kentucky guys know how to take advantage of the opportunities that present themselves for them. That's what we're talking about in this next story. That's Julius Randle and Bam Adebayo. Julius Randle, first up, well, actually, let's start with Bam Adebayo. He's been named to the NBA's all-defensive second team after finishing fourth in Defensive Player of the Year voting this season. Pretty impressive. Yep. Exactly, and most improved player wasn't enough for Julius Randle. He was also named second team All-NBA. That's a big one. Randle was the only former Cat to make an All-NBA team this season, and only five total players from the Calipari era have ever made the cut. You can probably guess who they are. That's Anthony Davis, Carl Anthony Towns, John Wall, DeMarcus Cousins, and now Julius Randle. That's some good company. That's the best company. <laughs> Madison Lilly is out to earn another award of her own, and this one is a really cool one, mm -hmm. Anna. The former Kentucky volleyball setter is a finalist for ESPN's oh, yeah, Best yeah. Female Collegiate Athlete Award. That will be presented at the network's annual ESPY Award Show later this summer. Lily is one of four finalists, fields. but there's good news here because there's a fan voting component, oh, so you know the this. BBN can help her win. Voting is open right now all the way through Friday, July the 9th. Head to BBNtonight.com to vote for Madison right now. She needs your help. Get on there and vote. Ryan Howard is spending her summer vacation like she always does, playing on a national stage for USA Basketball. Howard has been with the Team USA in Puerto Rico for the America Cup. She started all three of the games and is averaging just shy of 13 points a game. Team USA's game against Argentina was canceled due to COVID protocols, so we're advancing to the quarterfinals as the group's top seed. They take on the U.S. Virgin Islands tomorrow at noon. Big Blue Nation came through in a big way for the UK baseball team. Remember that teddy bear drive oh, yeah. that we talked about from Kentucky Proud Park? We talked about it a lot during the season. Well, the team ended up collecting 658 bears to donate to the Kentucky Children's Hospital, and head coach Nick Mangione was there to deliver the bears. 
for our guys to show up. And next thing you know, there's you know five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the next thing you know, we have hundreds of teddy bears. You know, so um, just very thankful to our fans. Um, Greg even shared with me that we had opposing fans bringing these for the children, and I think anyone will tell you that to put a smile on a kid's face does a lot for everyone, you know, um, especially our hearts. So the opportunity for us to drop off over 600 teddy bears, just a lot of people to thank, but uh, obviously it's for a really good good thing. Anytime you can give your time to, to others, um, obviously that's an important thing. And anytime you get to do something and make it bigger than yourself, that's powerful. So we've seen our guys' lives change. Not only are they changing the lives of some of the patients, but we've seen our own guys' lives change by them giving back. Senior safety Yusuf Corker has been named to the preseason watch list for the 2021 Lot Impact Trophy, which is named after Hall of Fame NFL safety Ronnie Lott. The award honors college football's defensive best in character and performance on the field. Josh Allen won the award in 2018. Coming up next, it's not often you get to add a 2,000 point scorer to your roster. But Kentucky did this offseason, and we've got him mic'd up after.